China has announced a new set of measures to optimize its epidemic control, ranging from proposing home quarantine for mild and asymptomatic cases to reducing nucleic acid tests to make it easier for people to travel and enter public venues. The measures were introduced based on the latest epidemic situation and mutation of the virus to contain the epidemic in a more science-based and targeted manner. Over the past three years, China has issued nine editions of COVID-19 control protocols, together with the 20 measures announced in November 2022 and the latest 10 released on Wednesday. Observers say that China has followed a people-centered approach in its COVID-19 response and has managed to keep its cases relatively low. If we see the global epidemiological trend, we can see that the COVID-19. I mean, we are, I'm talking about January, February 2020. So number of China is going up and then going down, and then globally it's going up very high. So the peak in China was very much lower compared to the global peak later on. So they had a, one of the best control measures. You keep on observing what is happening. You keep on adapting what is happening, changing some of its basic criteria. And keeping an eye on everything. Well, I think uh, China has again and again repeatedly set an example um, how to control an epidemic. So, given the kind of severity or or the kind of disease that we have, like COVID-19, I think、um, the Chinese government is trying to protect its people. When if you define people-centered approach against the pandemic as Trying to prioritize a greater number of people for the greater good of a greater number of people. So if you if you look at that and if you use that as a frame in 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 saying that you know China is taking up a people centered approach against the pandemic, yes.